Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amiru. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate sample or SQL Server table data for testing uh, different scenarios. Uh, so this is a very common scenario and very actually uh, very much asked request uh, because uh, I create a lot of SSIs tutorial, SSRS tutorials, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, people ask me, "Hey, uh, can you provide me sample data?" And in most of the time when I created those videos, I generated the data by myself, and uh, then. Uh, in some scenarios, yes, I have put that data. So in uh, one of the case uh, that uh, data I use uh, for mostly uh, SSRS reports, uh, that's there, but not uh, for every video. So if you go to the SSRS video tutorial, this is the data I generated for that uh, demos and all that. So script to create a total sale table with the uh, data for practice. So if you see that, that's my total uh, uh, sale data here and uh, I generated by myself you know putting those records uh, so you can use that in your uh, demos and learn you know. now this was not really going to work because today I was going to perform a demo on tumbling trigger in uh, Azure Data Factory and I needed some time series data where I need a date you know or time and I needed to generate that data so I start googling and uh, I end up on this uh, generate data.com website so just to let you guys know I am not partnering or uh, I'm not uh, doing any advertisement for these people there could be other websites uh, but uh, it fits uh, uh, just for creating a sample data I feel like it's, it's I you know I tried a couple of things here and it worked for me so I said okay let me uh, generate a quick uh, video for you guys maybe it will help you too so uh, again I'm not advertising them and I I'm not saying like these are the best people or these are the worst people whatever so it's your choice uh, if you want to uh, become a subscriber with them or you know donate or whatever and there could be other websites as well so um, this was uh, just to create free sample data that's why I end up here okay first of all what you're gonna do you have a lot of options here and I started doing I needed to create this uh, table let's say if I want to say ID I want to have ID in this one and if you go to the uh, select data type and here you have uh, auto increment so it asks you hey this is example one two three and all that yes and uh, increment by one yes that's fine with me next uh, I would like to say F name so first name and then uh, I'm going to select the names okay and uh, then it is ask you hey you know select the format the way you like it like first name should be like John only or Jane or whatever and then or is something like that so I'm going to go with John and then mail name doesn't matter really you have all those different variety here but in my case it's not doesn't uh, it does not matter so and the last name and uh, that's I'm going to also select name and uh, here you're going to uh, whatever any gender okay so that will work and now what I need to do here if uh, what else I need I need actually data so I was thinking like I need a, a series of dates uh, between uh, August 1st to August uh, let's say 9 or 10 you know so I can perform my timely uh, trigger scenario in my case I'm gonna call it date of birth uh, that, that's good. or sale date whatever uh, let's say sale date because uh, if I do date of birth uh, what's gonna happen uh, you're gonna say like how many people just born in one day you know on uh, that date um, so doesn't matter but uh, here you're gonna go and try to find date here so you see right there you have date and now what we have here uh, you have different formats um, and I choose my SQL date time because I want uh, the date and time together so I can use for my tumbling trigger, tumbling trigger uh, scenario and here it give you all those variety and the format so in my case uh, year month day hour uh, and uh, minutes and seconds that's uh, just gonna be okay and uh, what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna also select see you can select the date so I'm selecting from August 1st and then I'm going to the August 7 so or August 8 so whatever I want to do I can choose right there and then now it is asking me hey how many uh, rows uh, you would like to add so if I even do thousand or whatever it's not gonna really accept because it can generate only hundred rows with the, this uh, uh, free license so, so you can create CSV file okay and then you can provide the delimiter type such as comma and all those uh, so Excel file and HTML file and uh, then you can create a JSON file and uh, what I do actually uh, in last one of the video I did create JSON file for the one of the demo so you can create the you know JSON files here so I'm gonna use this one for some other demos as well 
So LDIF, uh, that's I don't really know about that programming language uh, that uh, if you want to create for different programming languages, you can uh, choose it right there. And uh, my case is a SQL or you have XML option as well. So in our case, what we are going to do, we are going to go ahead and uh, go straight to SQL. And here is uh, your table name. So I'm going to give the name customer. And uh, now it is asking you, you want to create a, uh, st insert statements, insert, ignore statements, update statements. So if there is already, you know, customer table there and uh, you want to insert new rows and uh, you want to ignore uh, if this is matching and all that. So probably that's where it is. It says insert, ignore if it does exist. Uh, update, you want to update the records. Uh, okay, you want to create a batch size uh, in each of 10. Yes, fine. So I, I don't care. And uh, include uh, create table query, uh, table uh, query, yes. Include drop table, yes, fine. Enclose uh, the table and fields with the double quotes. If you have especially like F space name, yes, then you would like to do. Otherwise, you are fine because your names are standard names and you are not making any mistake here. But uh, you should be all good. Uh, auto default increment column, yes. Add uh, uh, default auto increment column. It's going to create another column as well. So maybe we do not need ID here. But anyways, we will go and take a look at how it works. Um, now we we are going to click uh, generate in page. You know what we can do. We can download and all that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, click generate. And here is generating uh, our data. So this data is created. You can see this is uh, like 10 rows right here. So if you will scroll on the uh, okay, right here, see, each one has a 10 rows. So this is a, remember that batch they were asking. So if uh, that's where each one has 10 rows, see the values here. So number one row, then you have number two row. So uh, it has a 10 uh, rows and then you have these all 10 statements. That's going to make it 100. If you notice here, it has put that uh, uh, these uh, quotes around our uh, uh, table and the uh, column names and all that. And I made a mistake here because I believe I selected MySQL here and that uh, I'm not supposed to. I even supposed to select SQL Server. And th that was a reason. Otherwise, uh, it will not you know, put those single quotes or these uh, these are not really single quotes. I don't know which, which character is that one. That's actually at the uh, shift to uh, right next to uh, where the tilde is uh, and in MySQL it works. Uh, so I am want to create this uh, statements for our SQL, so not for my SQL. So I'm saying if exists a table one from sister tables, it check the table. If it does exist, then it drop it and then it create with the definition. So you see that customer ID, integer, not null identity. So that's the first column it added. So ID got added as well. So uh, we can go back and we can remove the ID because we really don't need two columns with the same uh, numbers. So I'm going to go back here and I can just remove this one. So I will say delete because the add uh, default auto increment column and it took the name from the table. So and uh, then it says the ID under it. So let's regenerate. And uh, now we are all good customer ID. And uh, then uh, uh, we have other columns and uh, we, should, we just copy the data and uh, go to SQL Server. So I'm in SSMS. I'm going to go to Tech Browser IT. And here I'm going to go to new query, paste this uh, data there, and you can see we can execute and uh, all these 100 rows are inserted in this table. So let's uh, take a look what how it look in our. So I'm going to say select. Come on, sorry. So you can see data. So you can see it, it has created very beautiful data for our sample uh testing or whatever you kind of call it you have customer id your first name last name and uh, i can literally use this data for my tumbling trigger because i need to use uh, the date time there so order by uh sale date okay so this was very helpful actually to generate this data because uh, otherwise i have to regenerate this whole thing by myself and uh, i was not interested to do that so in this case uh, see it is a uh, this is eight so this is eight nine 10 so we can two yeah so uh, I believe we have uh, selected some uh, uh, round dates there so if we go back here because uh, what we were doing 
let's see see right there so once we made that change it auto uh, kind of reset it and uh, what we have to do actually we should be going to the august 21st so but you got the point you know you don't have to worry about that like what i'm doing here because uh, august 1st and i'm doing august not 22nd uh year 21st okay so i can redo it So I want to do it till August 8th and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and generate and it's going to regenerate the data and I'm going to take that one now it should look good because uh, my goal was uh, creating the tumbling trigger and create only for a week worth of data so I'm going to paste that right there and uh, it's going to drop the table and uh, reinsert now if I will do select start from customer it should have order by sale data. And this should be all good now. Now you can see that uh, eight, then we have seven probably. Yeah, so you have uh, you can see the days now. So you can see August one, August second, and then on that all. This is pretty good. And I'm gonna use this one for next uh, demo. And you can see my video on tumbling trigger in Azure Data Factory and how to create that. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Subscribe if you like, and I will see you guys in the next video.